Hey, what's up everyone? Sean here and today we're doing a quite a bit of a different video for vlogging and or another update video for my uh, channel uh, regardless. Um, never held a camera like this, you know, in a selfie or whatever <laughs> uh, people call it when it comes to taking a video really. Um, but anyways, uh, this is an update for my room for anyone that's been following that on that. Um, I've been really wanting to rearrange my room for a um, really long time now um, since my room is not exactly the biggest room in the house so I um, really wanted to do this um, and I was finally was able to um, get most of it done uh, I still need to work on some few things for my room to you know get it really clean and organized and stuff like that um, it's uh, I like to call it an uh, organized chaos um, it's but in other words it's pretty much a mess but um, <laughs> I can find everything and everything in this room pretty much for the most part has a purpose so um, but the big change that my room got was this loft bed right here um, it took a lot of um, effort to uh, move out everything and uh, get this in here and you know kind of organize everything uh, for this part um, so I did take a picture of my old arrangement before my old room and um, I kind of forgot to take a video of that. I, I wish I did, but um, I kind of forgot just because I was just so focused on getting it done. Um, but I did take a picture at least. Um, uh, some of the things were already taken out, but you still get, get a good idea of what my room looked like before. And it's pretty cramped uh, if, when we're doing uh, Let's Plays and stuff like that. All right, so this is the picture I took before the actual moving process. Uh, I, I kind of got started already before I actually took the picture. I uh, really want to get that out of the way. But anyways, um, so you can, as you may tell in this picture, half of my bed literally took up half, uh, almost half of the, the, the floor of my room. So the space over here that I'm kind of highlighting uh, was where we sat uh, during Let's Plays. Um, so whenever we were, uh, looked at the smaller monitor, it was a little better, it was uh, a little tolerable, but when we try to look at the uh, the big screen or when we try to stream, um, I had to literally cram two, uh, another chair, including my own um, office chair right here, that, and uh, had to make it work that way. I uh, had, had to cramp it in there and um, um, you know, between myself and my friend, it was, you know, it'll, it'll squished, but, um, it worked for a while. Um, and I, I, but I really wanted to get that changed. So that's why I, uh, wanted to go through this in the first place. So the loft bed is what is, um, going to do the job for, um, it's just, uh, the top here, uh, for those who don't know what a loft bed is, it's basically a, a bunk bed without the bottom. So that way, you know, for, especially for the, for those who live in college dorms, may know what I'm talking about. But uh, basically, uh, you, know, you have a bed up here, you sleep in it, and, uh, you, and usually you have a ladder to go up to. Um, I always said I don't have that for obvious reasons. And um, uh, I did kind of try to um, lay lay down on on the top bunk, and um, you know, it, it works. It does a job, but um, you know, the uh, as you can see, there's like the railing on the bottom. That's how the bed um, is built. And um, kind of wish it was like a board rather than um, these, you know, these rails that like bend. And it does have some kind of support, which is these, you know, plastic little attachments. It, it, it pretty much acts like a spine for um, for this arrangement. And then you may, meanwhile, you have like the, the ribs of, um, Know, this bed right here it's all made of metal of course but um uh this was bending as i was um you know laying down on it and it has a weight limit of 200 pounds which is kind of close for me i actually wear around 160 last time i weigh myself i'm not exactly a big guy but it's even for me it's still pretty it's pretty much like kind of pushing it and it was you know it was kind of bending it my um my family was telling me you know I don't know. We, uh, you shouldn't really sleep up there. Uh, it might be really safe to just take it to the bottom instead. 
when it comes to sleeping. Um, I mean, it was kind of comfortable. It was kind of cozy, but at the same time, it's like, uh, maybe it might be a bit much for me, um, especially, you know, trying to get up in the, every morning, go to work and stuff like that, or go to school, and then, you know, get down the ladder. It might be a little hard for me, especially um, when I'm not a morning person exactly, and it's just so hard for me to get up in the morning in the first place. Um, get I get pretty groggy when I uh, get up, so <clears throat> uh, it's not easy for me. And um, we kind of decided a couple hours after this was all completed, and we kind of conv um, quickly converted it into just storage. Um, I just have a little blanket right now um, for my stuff. And um, we're going to get some boards later and um, lay it all down so that, you know, my stuff doesn't fall through in case. And um, that's, you know, pretty much it on that part. Uh, so I'm not going to be sleeping on the top um, just to be safe. It's just going to be all for storage. And then uh, it, it has some of the things I use, like um, my fight stick. This is the mini one. And this is the, uh, in this box, it has my, my Hori fight stick um, that I take out every time I play, like, Street Fighter or something like that, you know, and then fighting games. So this loft bed also comes with a desk that goes all the way across. And it pretty much acts as uh, extra support. Um, Oh yeah, first off, the loft bed actually does not wiggle as much as I um, expected to. Um, and that's because the, the bars are arranged as X's. Um, and the, um, same with this part too on the sides. Um, and over there as well. Uh, which actually really, really helps um, with the, the wiggling. Um, it doesn't actually wiggle a uh, little to not at all, pretty much. Um, I, I, if you if you guys are looking for a loft bed, I'll definitely leave a link in the description box below. I got this from Amazon, and um, it does it does make a solid loft bed for uh, teenagers and young. Um, I, I would say like maybe um, you know twelve year olds, early teens, and young adults. I would say, or, or just really small people. I would say. Um, that way under 200 pounds, um, I, w I would even kind of take it down to 150 since the, I don't, I don't know what kind of mattresses people would get or want. Um, you would be safe with a five inch mattress, um, twin size, of course, this is for a twin, twin size bed. So, um, I, I there are other, other sizes like full uh, that I've seen, uh, I've seen full at the biggest so far. But yeah, this is this is a, a twin size. So um, if you don't mind a, a smaller mattress, then definitely this is a bed for you. If you um, are willing to get a loft bed, and if you're willing to climb up and down every morning to and night, of course, to um, uh, go to sleep and stuff like that um, on a on a loft bed. If you're willing to do that, this is the bed probably I would recommend. And of course, if you're a big guy, I stay away from it. <laughs> no, um, probably get either. A much more solid loft bed or just stay away from it completely um, you know pretty much like the walls would have to be like solid like wood or metal and you have to have like some kind of like closet or like some kind of unit going on on the bottom so that way it adds way more extra support and you're pretty much ensured that you're gonna like you're not gonna like plummet through the freaking bed um, and make sure that these aren't what make up the uh, the bed frame in the actual bed um so yeah um but pretty much uh, overall it, this is a pretty cool you know little bed for like i said young adult young uh, like you know uh young adults or late teen teenagers or um or you know 12 year olds elementary school stuff like that um, it, it would be a, it would make a really cool bed uh, especially with the desk you put your computer you know whatever uh, stuff you want um, and you have you have room on the bottom as well so what I did or what I'm doing right now is I have my um, my f uh, full-size mattress on the bottom and that's pretty much my uh, my bed and um, so I'm sleeping on the bottom just to, you know be safe I have slept one night so far and the desk is a little over my bed um, not over my face, so obviously I'm not going to hit my head or anything like that, so that's good. But um, I have um, had an incident uh, once so far where when I was turning, I kind of hit my hand a little bit. But, you know, it wasn't serious or anything like that. But, you know, um, my, you know, my limbs will hit the desk. 
uh, from time to time, but it's it's fine. Um, it's not that serious, and I haven't knocked over my amiibos or anything like that, and it's quite sturdy, so it's not going to exactly wiggle. See, I'm wiggling the thing, and nothing's really moving. So, again, this is a really solid uh, loft bed for what it is. Um, uh, and uh, really happy with it uh, so far. Um, I did get some uh, new stuff from a mattress. I actually actually have got a futon um, on the top of this mattress, and this is just a re regular spring mattress. And I have a you know the base right there. Um, and also I have a memory foam top mattress topper. So got that memory foam foam fanciness. Um, and I do have like a memory foam pillow as well, and uh, yeah, and of course I have my camera bag right now. Um, and of course my desk and all my other stuff is still remaining the same. This old big old fucking mess right here still. But I am, I am gonna work on it um, throughout um, throughout the summer. I am gonna slowly work on it. Um, uh, I, I I do kind of like to think take things slow. And steady, but um, I think in the summer um, I, I'll be able to kind of pick up the pace just a little bit, and uh, hopefully get that done. Um, what I'm gonna do actually is switch this desk for this shelf right there, which, which is holding all my consoles and some of my stuff right there, which is like you know more art stuff. Um, so yeah, this is all my consoles and stuff like that, and my extra monitor, um, and I do have my my little personal shelf I made myself for my uh, for the rest of the consoles and um, I'm gonna switch those two you know in place because um, because of the loft bed right here my office chair isn't exactly you know free moving anymore um, I did have to sacrifice my space of um, my office chair, so it, it it is a little harder to get in and out of my um, my desk, but um, it does come with with good results because I have all this room now, so I can actually sit down on my bed or on a chair, or whatever, and uh, you know play play my games on this uh, screen here or TV screen. Which is a 32 inch TV, by the way. Um, and by the way, um, the this is all the same as well. I haven't really uh, touched anything. Um, well, you know, getting this loft bed in here. So over here is just uh, that's all my clothes are here. Uh, over here is just a couple more things like my arcade stick under that towel right there. My little backpack I go for outdoor stuff. Subwoofer for sound system. That's a sound bar. Um, look great boxes are that are just sitting right there. I, I oh and uh, if you look over here, that's just um, cartoons humanity boxes that have all the you know cards or almost all of them. Um, I, I haven't updated my my Cards Against Humanity um, pack. Uh, I I think I need to still get my six pack or whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, and this is my shelf. Uh, which has all my clothes and stuff like that. It's a pretty big shelf, man. It just it, it does take a, a lot of room. So um, I do I did want to move this a while back, but kind of realized that it's way uh, way too difficult um, for what I'm going for. So this is gonna remain here, and that's why I'm actually just gonna again switch that shelf or rack or whatever you want to call it with this desk. So that way. I actually have my chair over here so I can get it out um, like as if I was before um, so fun stuff fun stuff um, and I will try to do my best to clean all this crap of um, uh, I have all my cables just right there but hey it works you know um, that's how I record all my videos and my desk is a uh, Kind of the same in condition as well. Um, it doesn't have all my stuff right there. Just uh, everything has a purpose, of course, but it could be a lot cleaner. Same with all that stuff in the shelf. Um, need to kind of clear things out as well. Um, and over there, that's just um, where my socks are and my hats are in there as well. Below my desk, 
don't know if you can see that, but um, there's there's a little uh, can right there that I use for storing my cables, and then behind it, it's just friggin' black. But um, there's one, there's my subwoofer for my little sound system I have on my computer, my little iMac, and then my sound system unit, and then that's my power strips, my other power strip, other power strip, and a surge protector. Yep, a lot of cables, a lot of cables. That's just the life of a uh, of a gamer, really, or a let's player. Um, and when you're trying to be a let's player, or if you yeah, if you want to ever try let's doing let's plays or something like that, recording gameplays, trying to make gaming content, you're gonna see a lot of cables. So do, uh, do your research on cable management. Like I haven't, <laughs> so. Uh, I'll, I'll, but like I said before, I'll I will work on that um, sometime in the future in summer. Hopefully, get that out of the way. And same with this part. Um, yeah, but this is okay. This TV and the this, this um, shelf right here is okay. Um, this is this can use some work as well. Uh, I do have some textbooks that I should probably throw out. <laughs> Um, at this point, because um, you know how textbooks are in college, you just update, they get out, and then your books get outdated, so you can't really sell them. So might as well just get rid of it somehow. Um, yeah, and then there's some pictures on the wall from high school, good old memories, and my One Piece posters. I had to move um, recently because of this. Um, they were on this wall before. You know, behind you, I mean, behind the bed, I mean, and um, I do have some Sonic posters over there, and yeah, um, gonna put some more posters on, maybe above, uh, but definitely over there somewhere. Um, trying to see if I can fit more posters sometime. I do, I love my posters, but you know, you only have so much as um, uh, posters as your how big your wall is. Um, and then yeah, this is just a chair that I, that I uh, have people sit on for Let's Plays and stuff like that whenever we record Let's Plays. Um, behind that is a mic stand for right now. Um, I do want to get some kind of shelf right there as well. There's a little, there's like some empty space right there I do, do want to utilize in the future. Um, little rack that I use for my, my jackets. Sweaters, hoodies, whatever. Um, I do need to get a new one since this is bending. It's it's been holding up for a couple uh, for many years, even though it's just really kind of flimsy looking, but holding its own. It's holding its own. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, there's a closet over there, but unfortunately, I can't really get to it right now because well, this. <laughs> um, but like I said, I will switch out my desk or switch the desk with this, and this now I'll fix that. Um, let me see. Well, there's my lights. There's a lamp right there. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh yeah, there's an old poster that I have of Vegeta uh, from. I don't know if you guys remember, but from a magazine called Beckett, or that's the company anyway. They like. Uh, right up on like Dragon Ball Z stuff. They did like a lot, of, a lot of other things like Pokemon, uh, Digimon, um, and all the all the pretty much the popular '90s uh, anime. But they, yeah, definitely Dragon Ball Z. This is a really cool poster that I got from a long time ago uh, from the magazine, and I've had it since. Um, is pretty much like one of my most valued, valuable posters for me anyway, personally. I always keep it and I try to be careful with it. And as you can see, it has some old ass tape on it. So, um, that is pretty much it for my room. Um, I pretty much the only thing, the only big thing I've done with this room is so, uh, so far anyway, is the loft bed. Um, otherwise, all of this. remains the same. Um, so pretty much my posters and this is what uh, changed my room. And I'm really happy with this result. Um, I, you know, 
I have all this room now. Um, I wasn't present before. I had this, you know, full size mattress taking up half of my room, um, along with some shelves that uh, that used to be here, but now they're gone. Um, they're getting old anyway. So, um, really happy with the result again. And I can actually do some possibly new stuff, like hang a green screen from here, you know, and down, and I could just sit in front of it. Um, and have my have myself on the chair right here. Got some lights, and then you know, um, play the games on my on my on this TV, and maybe s stream that way. But um, that that'll be for the future. I uh, really don't know what I'm going to do, um, really, uh, with streaming. Maybe I'll keep it the same. Who knows? But I'll I will try to stream nonetheless uh, more often um, on Twitch. So. Uh, I would highly appreciate if you guys follow me up on that. And um, yeah, again, this is uh, this is my room so far on the new changes. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in to uh, check out my room. This is you know pretty much like a room tour video um, right now. That is. Um, I wish I did this before so that way you can like, really see the change. But um, whatever. I think the picture that I took will do the job. So. Um, if you have any comments, leave them down below, and like, sh um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, really, really helps out, and I always, always highly appreciate it. So, I will see you guys next time in the next uh, Let's Play or, or video or whatever. Um, hope you guys uh, have a good one. Peace out.